So we have three computers here. And we have this one, which is the MacBook Air with the M2 chip. This is the latest offering in the MacBook Air. And over here, we have the MacBook Pro. This is the base model M3. And this has 512 gigabytes of RAM. This one, the base model only has 256 with eight gigabytes of RAM. And over here, we have the upgraded. This is the MacBook Pro M3 with the Pro chip. So this has 18 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte hard drive. So which one of these computers should you pick? Well, if you're doing light editing and maybe a little bit of Photoshop and the rest of it is like internet and things like that, I think you'll be just fine with the M2, okay? Now, if you're doing editing and maybe multiple windows open, I would say you need one of the Pro, MacBook Pro models. So if you get this one, I definitely suggest upgrading to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, the problem is that once you do that, it comes very close to the price of the M3 uh, MacBook Pro with the Pro chip. And this one comes with 18 gigabytes of RAM. So you can make your decision there. It's just a few more dollars for this one. Now, all of these computers, this one used to cost $1,999. Now it's, it's $1,600. This one is $1,100. And you can make your choice from there. So this one is a little bit more at $2,000. So you can kind of pick out the computer that's best for you. Now for me, I do a little bit of 8K editing and I also do uh, Final Cut Pro Heavy. And for me, the best one after testing these for about a week and a half, I came to the conclusion that the MacBook Pro M3 with a Pro chip works the best for me. Yes, I can go even higher and go to the Max chip, but that's just too much. I'm trying to keep this on a budget. Computers change all the time and they lose a lot in the value. So that's why I bought this one because basically it's kind of like a disposable computer. You have it for a while and then you upgrade to the next model. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trade this one in for this one. So this one, I liked it a lot, but the problem is it just doesn't have enough RAM. And really I think for the few extra dollars for me, I'd rather have this. now. This one here, I really think in this day and age, if you're getting a computer, especially if it's more than $1,500, it should really come with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Yes, I understand that it will borrow from the unified memory, but it still bogs it down. When I use this computer, I'm stretching the limits of the computer. So there you have it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.